Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you how to crochet this cupcake, which I like to use as a cushion for my sewing pins and needles. I'm using worsted weight yarn and a G hook. We'll work on the bottom section first. Make a slip knot and chain four. Slip stitch to form a ring. Chain three, which counts as the first double crochet. In this ring, make 14 double crochet stitches. At the end, you'll have a total of 15 stitches. Slip stitch to the top of the chain three. For round two, we'll begin with the chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Make another double crochet in the same place. Going forward, we'll make two double crochet stitches in each stitch around. At the end, you'll have 30 stitches on this round. And that's going to be a key number throughout this pattern. For round three, begin with the chain one, which does not count as a stitch. Around each stitch, we're going to make a back post double crochet stitch. These are made slightly different than a regular double crochet. With back post stitches, you wrap your hook around the previous round's stitch, as opposed to going underneath the two top loops. Then you complete the stitch like you would a traditional double crochet. You'll continue around with back post double crochet stitches. This round will have the same 30 number of stitches as the previous round. Slip stitch to the first stitch to complete the round. For round four, we'll begin with a chain one, which is not counted as a stitch. Now for this round, we're going to do a front post double crochet stitch. These are very similar to the back post stitches. However, the hook wraps around the previous round's stitch in the opposite direction. Wrap the hook around the stitch, then complete the double crochet as you do in traditional double crochet stitches. At the end, slip stitch to the first stitch. For rounds five and six, we'll repeat round four. We'll start with the chain one. Then for each stitch around, we'll make a front post double crochet. For round seven, we're going to do something a little different. We'll connect round six with a slip stitch, but in the front loops only. Then we'll make a front post single crochet around the previous round stitch. Then we slip stitch in the front loop only of the next stitch, followed by a front post single crochet. And again, slip stitch into the front loop of the next stitch. Then around that stitch, make a front post single crochet. Continue around with this pattern. You can see how it makes a nice edging for the bottom of the cupcake section. Once this round is completed, slip stitch to the first stitch. Fasten off your work. Next is the icing part of the cupcake, so I'm using pink yarn and chaining two. Feel free to substitute this with a magic ring. Then in the second chain from the hook, for round one, make six single crochet stitches in it. We're going to begin working in spirals in this section, so no slip stitches or chain ones. You will need a stitch marker to know where your rounds begin. For round two, make two single crochet stitches in each stitch around. Be sure to always mark your very first stitch of each round so you know where to begin and where to end. You'll have a total of 12 single crochet stitches once completed. For round three, we begin with two single crochet stitches. And mark the first stitch. This time we follow it with just one single crochet in the next stitch. Then repeat two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. Then one single crochet in the next stitch. At the end, you'll have 18 stitches. For round four, our pattern is two single crochet stitches in the first stitch, and mark the very first stitch, then follow it with one single crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the next stitch. 
Then repeat. Two single crochet stitches, followed by a single crochet, and then another single crochet. Continue with this pattern around. At the end, you'll have 24 stitches. For round five, we'll begin with the two single crochet stitches again and mark the very first one. Then we do one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Then repeat the two single crochet stitches in the next stitch. Then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. At the end, you'll have made 30 stitches on this round. Now that we have our 30 stitches to match our cupcake base, we're going to do three rounds of just one single crochet stitch around. As always, mark your very first stitch, then just make one single crochet in each stitch around for rounds six, seven, and eight. Your work should look something like this. For round nine, we're going to put an edging around the icing part. Start with a slip stitch into the next stitch, using the front loops only. Going forward in each stitch around, make a single crochet and a double crochet all in the same stitch. Single crochet, double crochet. And again, single crochet, double crochet. Continue with this pattern around. Once completed, slip stitch to the first stitch and fasten off your work. Next, you'll want to get out the polyester fiber stuffing. If you notice, I don't weave in my ends, since the stuffing will just cover everything. Place a little bit of the fiber stuffing in the base. Sew or glue on any beads or pom-poms to the icing part at this time. Then, use the back loops from the icing section for your sewing stitch guide. Before you finish the last several stitches, adjust the amount of stuffing inside the cupcake. Either add more or less to help with its shape. And then use your cupcake either as a cute decoration, or as a birthday gift, or for your sewing pins and needles. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.